My name is George Harper, and I'm an award-winning journalist for the Daily Dougal, the best goddamn newspaper on the West Coast. I've come to the small village of Bushtown to find out more about the elusive Dr. Duke Benus and his breakthroughs in the art of transformative science. Dr. Benus claims he can transform an object into anything he desires, and I'm going to hold him to his word. This place looks a little ominous. Kind of like a, kind of like a prison. Maybe a school. What are you doing here? Get out of here! Who the hell even are you? Doesn't matter! Get out of here! That man's a dog! An old dog! Listen, this is the biggest story of my career. I'm only doing this to stick it to the guys over at Fox News, okay? I can't let anything get in the way of this. Nothing's gonna stop me. Fine. Do whatever you want. But I warned you, you're walking into something you're not gonna be able to walk out of. Old geezer. Hello. You must be the man from the newspaper. I'm Dr. Venus. Uh, would you like to come in and eat some beans? Um, I guess so. All right, come on oh, in. Oh, 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 okay. These pipes up here, they power the uranium and send it to the machine to power it up. They also go to the oven so I can make my bushes baked beans. Speaking of which, would you like some right now? Oh, no, that's okay then. Please, I insist they are bushes, baked beans after all. Oh, no, no, that's okay. I ate before I came over here. You're lost. So, how long did you say it takes you to come up with the technology? So, sir? M Mr. Venus, are, are you even listening to me? Oh, sorry, I was too busy eating beans. You want some? No, I don't want any of your damn beans. Jesus, I mean, I've been sitting here trying to get this interview with you for like 45 minutes now. I, what is your issue, man? I don't even like beans. Like, I, you know, people like you, you make me sick. All you do is sit there with your crazy obsessions, your addictions. I'm trying to do what I do best, and you're putting me at risk here. Look, man, I'm sorry. It's just obnoxious. I mean, the first time I thought you were being nice, but the 83rd time in six minutes, like... Look, whatever, let's just get on with the interview, okay? This, about the machine? Dr. Venus? Okay, fine. No, I, I get it. No, I'll leave. Fine. Whatever. I'll leave. Have a nice one, jackass. Best story of my career. Wait a second. Guy. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with beans in my entire life. I gotta do some research. This just doesn't make any sense. I mean, w wait a minute. If... Oh my god. He was a burden. 
so I killed him and sold the recipe. But th that doesn't make any sense. Y you're a dog. B y you were a dog. Internet, dummy. With the money I got, I was able to create the machine that can transform anything into anything I want, including bushes, baked beans. No, 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 don't do this to me, man, no, don't, don't do it, no, no, oh God. <laughs> oh, should have eaten those damn beans, son. Oh, oh. After the disappearance of George Parker, Dr. Venus quickly moved out of his laboratory and is rumored to be living in Venezuela, where the baked bean first originated. No beans were harmed in the making of this picture.